Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different than the videos I've done in the past because this one's going to be more of a discussion video, but it's still really the manga so and the community as a whole, so I just kind of want to give my opinions on because I see a lot of other people are making their own videos about it and I agree with some of them and I also disagree with some other people, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So first off is the... Um, the whole controversy right now around uh, manga halls and honestly I really don't see why they're an issue to begin with because I don't know I've been a part of the community for a while now even though my channel is relatively new I've been part of like the manga tube manga YouTube like space for a while I've always watched content from there actually I could probably find something to show how long it's been so yeah, actually after I did some digging, I found an old badge from a convention I went to. Um, I'll do a close up here to show you it so you guys can see what it is, but it's from 2013. So yeah, this is the badge I had from the first convention I went to, I'm pretty sure. I have some other ones, but this is the earliest one I can find from 2013. So yeah, I've been a part of the community for a while, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah, so after a little bit of a tangent, um, basically my point is, from all my time being a part of the, the manga industry, or YouTube scene, I guess you would say, um, halls have always been kind of a thing. Um, I remember back when I first started watching, there was a YouTuber, Code Provider, and he used to do hauls all the time. Um, he'd post some, basically just whenever he got them, but the halls were different back then, it was basically just whenever you found a good deal. Now it's kind of transformed into basically what you're picking up every month, like kind of the log of things you bought, which I think is perfectly fine. Honestly, the um, the hauls people do like once a month, I understand it's kind of just a way to show the readers, or the, not the readers, the people that are watching the types of series you're reading. And when I watch them at least, I kind of go into them not as to see what they're showing but more like what they recommend and what they're thinking of series that I'm also uh, reading because um, one of the problems people are saying with the haul videos specifically are that they're kind of leading to people spending more money than they should and yeah that's probably happening in some cases and I definitely don't s recommend going and spending all the all your money on manga I would just buy what you're uh, capable of buying within your spending budget and no one really cares to be honest like I'll watch I'll watch a haul video with five books or 50 books that's kind of just on the personality behind the camera for me more it's not really on the uh, the quantity I guess so yeah that's just kind of my thoughts on the haul videos I think they're really not that bad the only issue I have with them are the people that will post a haul video like every week or like every four days of like two books or whatever the package is because at that point I feel like they're just kinda they're kinda just using the algorithm of YouTube to get more views that's the way I see it at least because uh, anyone that makes YouTube videos on manga can agree that the haul videos get way more views than any other videos so some people are just kinda taking advantage of that but the monthly hauls, I really don't see an issue with at all. Just, um, yeah, just stay within your spending limits and don't try to compete with other collectors, I guess. That's what I would recommend. And the second topic, which is a little bit more half and half, the, uh, the haul videos, almost everyone basically collectively agreed that they're really not that big of an issue. But this next topic is definitely more controversial there's people on both sides of it and I don't know I kinda stand in the middle on it and the controversy I'm talking about is or not really controversy but opinions people have on buying used manga compared to buying brand new manga from like great stuff and the people that are in favor of buying new argue that you're really not supporting the industry buying used and the people that are buying used are saying they don't want to spend so much money on new manga, which both sides have their fair points, I think. On one hand, 
you have people that buy new, which definitely, if you're buying new manga, it's going m more to the creator than any other way you're going to purchase the uh, the manga. Um, if you really like an artist or author, the best way to support them is to buy it new, because money goes to the creator. But I also understand the whole buying used, because not everyone can afford to pay a sometimes more if it's an omnibus or depending on the publisher. Some people just can't afford to do that and I completely understand if you want to buy used, definitely go for it. Some of the series I have in my collection are used. It just kind of really depends on your your situation and your own opinions on how it should be handled. So for me personally, I have kind of a mixed relationship with used manga. Um, only in certain situations do I really buy used manga um, the only time I'll buy them used is if I can get a massive collection of it for, like, really cheap, like, um, Naruto. I bought basically the whole, like, 1 through 60 used for, like, $150, so I'm not gonna pass it up. I'm not gonna spend probably 10 times as much as that to buy it new. And another situation where I think a lot of people that are in favor of buying new don't really take into consideration is I buy series used if the series is already finished and I could find them for a better deal. The reason for this is I'm not 100% sure on this but if the series is finished and you buy it new the money is basically just going to whatever the publisher is and money is going towards the author obviously but it's not going towards keeping that series running. It's kind of just more money for the author. You know what I mean? So, for example, if you buy a volumes of Naruto right now, it's not supporting more Naruto because Naruto is over. All it's doing is giving money to Shonen Jump and to the author of Naruto. And this next point, I'm not 100% sure if it's right or not, so take this with a grain of salt. But as far as I know, if you if there's an artist or a manga you like that has a series ended, so for I'm gonna use this as an example, Slam Dunk. They're both Slam Dunk is written by Tagi Goinoe, and this series has is over. It's finished, completely printed. All the volumes are out, but he also has other series. So for example, right now he is working on Real, which the synopsis doesn't matter. Just know that they're written by the same author. I'm pretty sure if you buy Slam Dunk, the money doesn't go to continuing real. Like, it's not showing support for real. Therefore, the money still just goes to the mangaka and the publisher. So with that being said, in situations where a series is finished, I don't see a problem with buying used. The books have been completed already. Any money that you'd give to the company buying new, yeah, money would go to the mangaka, but... Basically, if you're buying new, you're trying to show your support for that specific series, you know what I mean? And unless you're a big fan of the artist, I think that's a philosophy that I can kind of get behind, and that's how I've been using it. And I know these aren't, this wasn't a point brought up in any of the controversy recently that I've seen at least, but um, used really isn't the issue, honestly. I think the biggest issue is the scans online. Um, I try to stay as far away from scans as possible because that's the thing that's hurting the industry the most they you, no money at all is going to the mangaka or the publisher at least if you're buying used you know that whoever bought it new gave money to the publisher and mangaka scanlations are probably the biggest hindrance on manga in the technological era we're in right now you can read an entire series for free on scanlations and that's why, honestly, I really don't support scanlations, except for one or two situations. One of those situations being if the series isn't published in English. Like, um, Hajime no Ippo, it's a boxing manga. I actually read it on scanlations because it's not available in the United States. But if the series ever gets published here, I'll definitely still pick it up to show my support because I love the series. And the only other really exception I make for scanlations is if I have a series that I have in my collection that's collected in omnibuses, which means this volumes are going to come out so infrequently, 
I'll read the scanulations just until the omnibus comes out. So an example of that series would be my Berserk uh, Deluxe Editions that I'm going to be starting to buy. I know they're up to like 6 right now, but say when I get caught up to Berserk in this format. There's going to be a point where there's going to be a year or two before <laughs> another Berserk Omnibus comes out with how infrequently he does his like chapters. So instead of waiting two years to read more Berserk, I would read it on Scanlations and then when it comes out, I'll buy it. Some people might not agree with that and I completely understand that's just how I've always done it and how I justify Scanlations, use manga, and new manga. And the whole all thing, I really just don't see the issue with it. If you're part of the community, I feel that you kind of understand that they're there for recommendations, not to gloat about how much manga you're buying. I don't think any of us really have that intention. But yeah, um, any of these topics, I'd love to hear your opinions of it. So leave some comments down below of what you think. Even if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear your stance on it and why you believe that. And if you'd like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. I'm pretty sure my next video is going to be a uh, manga, um, like the log of what I've read in September. Um, I just finished up a few volumes that I wanted to include in there. So that video should be coming out within two to three days, and we'll see where it goes from there. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And